Hello and welcome to Apex Instant Tips episode number 172 brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. I'm Anton. And I'm Marwa. Hi, Anton. Hi, Marwa. Um, it's funny, I will say, I, uh, I realize that saying 12.05 Eastern Time is actually not quite specific enough because some folks change from Eastern Daylight Time to Eastern Standard Time at different times and, and vice versa. And so I was saying Eastern time to somebody recently and I was on Eastern daylight, but they were on Eastern standard. Uh, so I think it's, I'm gonna say um, Boston time and then people will have to figure it out or maybe New York time. Um, yes, you can do that. Um, but if you want more info on uh, on time zones, um, hit my hit up my blog um, on the, uh, the in some Talon web website, uh, more more than you'd ever want to know. Um, but we're not talking today about time zones. Um, uh, we are talking about some best practices around using region templates. And Marwa, this is something that I've I've looked and I've I, I really haven't found a good um, a good synopsis of this anywhere. Um, so I did put one together. Um, we'll publish my blog post on this as well. But it, I, I think that we'll actually dig in a little deeper than the blog post today and, and give some folks hopefully some real understanding as to what templates to use, how to use them, and just a little bit about how Apex functions uh, with these templates and, and with the, the grid layout that Apex has. Um, and of course, doing this, I've already realized I've got to update my blog post because I've got a couple things in there that I don't, I don't really like the way, what I've said. So here we go. Um, I'm going to share my screen right now and give you um, a quick idea. Mara, this is just a blank page. There's no region on this page, but there's one item on the page. And the only reason I put an item on the page is because when you want to use this, um, this show layout columns, you have to have something on the page for Apex to actually show them. If there's no item on the page, it doesn't do anything. But that's not a region. It's not in a region. It's just one item, and the item has a single col column span. But you can see that Apex has a 12-column grid. And that 12-column grid is responsive. It does what you'd expect for, for this kind of grid. Um, the items <clears throat> grow and shrink in there. Um, they had to pick some number to do this grid and to have this work this way. They picked 12, I suspect, because 12 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6, which means that if you use any of those, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 6 items on on here, you, you can lay them out um, very well, and they, they, they span columns nicely. You don't have a, a blank column at the end. If you use 5, 7, well, 8, 9, if you, or, or bigger numbers, you're going to have potentially a gaps in there that because it, it can't render them all the way out but one two three four and six render really nicely um, so that is our grid when we start putting regions on top of a grid things get a little bit trickier um, because the regions themselves can have they have their own 12 column layout except blank with attributes no grid so this one's blank with attributes no grid so this one doesn't have its own grid overlaying it. In fact, you have to be completely responsible for where things show up here. The, there's no way to define, if we edit one of this, this second item here, normally you'd have the ability to say, I want it on a new row and a new column. I want a column span, all of those kinds of things. But we don't have those options here. We, we don't, they just don't exist because this region type doesn't support a grid. You can look in the, in, if you edit the actual template, you can see with the slots whether or not it supports a grid. This one does not support a grid. Really, I generally, I don't use this very much at all because I don't want to be fully responsible for everything that goes in here and how they get arranged and so forth. Um, but, but it does exist if you want to fully manipulate it. Let's jump down to blank with attributes. This one does have a grid, but it's hard to actually tell. This grid, the grid lines up perfectly with the page grid. The darker elements here, that's the region grid. The lighter elements, that's the page grid. And you can see they line up perfectly. And they line up perfectly because this template, this region template has no padding, no padding at all. So they line up perfectly. If we jump to a standard region, you can see that region has a little bit of padding. So the page grid 
and the region grid, they don't line up perfectly. Now, we could remove the padding from this and they would line up perfectly. The other thing that we can do, oh, Rich, you're right. I got to turn my timer. Oh, I'm so cheating. Um, thank you. Um, so we'll probably, we'll probably make it on time today, I hope. Um, so, uh, so here we go. The one thing I am going to do, I'm going to add another, a second region here to just show folks that, um, that we get, when we put in two regions, we can see that we, each region will get 12. So I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to say, don't start a new row. I'm going to do it in a new column. I'm going to do the same column span and uh, make them automatic so that each have six columns. And here you can see now we're, our columns have gotten to be about half the size. This one, I'm not seeing them because like I said before, you have to have somebody, something in there to actually see them. Um, and so if I, if I do this, they all work together. So within each region, we get 12. And if we have subregions and subregions and subregions, you get 12 tighter and tighter and tighter in, in each of those uh, regions. Um, and again, if I were to remove all of the padding from this region, these would line up identically to the other ones, um, but they'd be half as wide. Um, yes. Yes. So that's, a, Thank that's a quick overview of regions. So see, Rich, I told you, we're done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Anton, for this overview. And um, I can see the differences between the different template regions, like the blank attribute region and the standard one. And I would ask the question when to use each one of these. So here we have an example on both regions on the same page. And the blank with attribute region uh, is different from the standard one. Even the font is not the same. We don't have the title and also no padding. So I think uh, the blank region is not meant to uh, have content on itself. It's meant to arrange other region on the same page. I completely agree. I, I, you, in, in general, you shouldn't have any items in a blank with attributes. A region with that template, you shouldn't have any text in there. You shouldn't have anything at all except a subregion or a couple of subregions to move them around. And so, in fact, on this page, that's exactly what we have. If we if we have we have a couple of these right here. Um, we have left. That's blank with attributes, and I think that's worked the way it should. We have right. That's blank with attributes, and then we have a standard region here. But this one is blank with attributes, but it shouldn't be. This, I don't think that we should have, because we have content in here. I really think that this should be a standard region, just like you said. So I'm going to make this a standard region. And then I'm going to change this to be my standard title. And I'm going to call this standard one, just to, just to give us a few discriminations. And the big thing here is something that you, you called out early on, but I want to reiterate it. This standard title is now on the page. It, it's in the source of the page. The, the blank with attributes, if I return here, this left, you won't find that left anywhere in the page. You won't find that right anywhere in the page. Screen readers don't know about that. They can't find it. They can't locate it. There's no navigation element for anybody that has an adaptive technology working for them. It's, it's a reason not to use these as content regions. The blank with attributes should be resolved, reserved for this other manipulation. Um, and the other thing, as you mentioned, I'm going to point out is getting the right font. Right. So there we go. So like you mentioned, it's a good point to know that if we do not want to have a title on our region, because sometimes it exists on the breadcrumb, uh, do not use the blank with attribute region, but instead use the standard one, and you can change the attributes of the, that region to, so to, to hide the title. So what we can do is we can remove body, we can make this um, hidden but accessible, right? Accessible meaning that the screen readers can see it. And then if we do text content, now we're getting much closer to what that well, almost exactly what that other region looked like, um, except that we're using the right fonts, those kinds of things. So that's the way to do it. Not Don't use blank with attributes for this purpose. Use a standard region, but modify it. Yes, and it's important to make this available to other developers on the team. Um, yes, so, and I'm, we'll hit this. Uh, we've got a question coming up. We'll hit this uh, in the 
minutes after. We've got 13 seconds, and I'm going to answer your question in our 13, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 question. Okay. So, um, right. The, the idea is if this is your design template, if normally you're using a breadcrumb here, um, and yes, I am cheating at this point. Um, if you're using a breadcrumb here, you may want, when you just create your page to have it look like this and not have it look like this, right? So what you do is you copy the standard region and you modify the, um, the standard region. I'm gonna, I give it a name Stoked Standard because that's my company name, Stoked. Um, and all I did was I came in and I said, okay, I'm gonna change a few things. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna remove body padding. I think I also said, made this hidden but accessible. The style is text content. So going forward, my developers don't need to remember to click all those things. They can just pick stoked standard, right? And then it's consistent. I've got this other template. That's the standard. It looks exactly like I just did, but developers don't have to click anything. Exactly. But I would like to mention that there is a downside for that is when upgrading the Apex version, we won't get the new features on the copy template that we just made, right? That's right. And so what you would have to do is if you do refresh the theme to a new theme, essentially all you have to do, because we didn't make any other changes, all you would have to do is come in here and copy this from the refreshed standard into your copy, paste it in there, and you'll get all those new features. It's as simple as that one copy and paste. So it's a downside, but it's small enough that I think it's worth it. Um, we'll point out a couple other things. It's worthwhile also editing the theme itself in changing the region, the default region to your new standard. Um, and you may consider doing that for each of these as well, the region defaults, all of those. Um, and that is today's tip, but I've got another little bonus tip um, related to all of this. And it's very, very, it's one of these things that um, has gotten really gotten under my skin uh, and, and trying to figure out exactly what it's all about. Um, and that is if we come in here and we say use template defaults, this use template defaults right here never seems to do anything for me. Never. I click it, I unclick it, it doesn't do anything. It's always the same. And the reason it never seems to do anything is because the standard ones, when you do standard, they don't have any checked. By default, none of them are checked. And it doesn't matter what you do here, checking this, unchecking it, it doesn't do anything. What this use template defaults really does is it, it does a union between anything that's set up of these checkboxes in the template and whatever you click in here. But because there's none clicked already, it doesn't do anything on the standard one. But on my stoked one, the one I changed to, because this one has one that's default, it shows, again, it's a union, so I can still add these in, but I can't take this one off unless I uncheck this, and then I can do it. But I wish they didn't, I, this thing is just confusing to me because it, it doesn't affect anything below here. It only check, uh, affects these checkboxes, and it, all, it does, all it does by checking this really is force you to have this one. That's all this does. Right. Or perhaps cha change it back. Okay, um, so that's one that, that one niggling thing that that has gotten to me. Um, all right, well that is well over our five minutes, uh, but um, but we got a, a bonus tip in there. Uh, I see we have two comments. Um, this is our first one. I wouldn't mind if someone gave a clear explanation of what the new column attribute in the layout options does. It never thinks what it does what I think it should. So let me let me talk about what that is. So. <clears throat> When, when you have items on a page or in a region or really any, anything in a region, uh, let's, let's pick this one right here. So I'm gonna have this and I'm going to add two items to this, uh, to this page. Um, so first I'll add item one and then I'll add item two. New one, that's what it's called. So I have these two items, and the question is around um, start. I'm going to turn off start new row, and I'm going to turn on new column. What that did 
was it put this item on a new next to the, the first one, right? It's a new column. Now, the, the problem that I think the, the people run into is if I turn if I turn this off, it's not a new column, and I save it, it's gonna look like it's on a new row, right? But but I didn't I say I didn't say I want a new row, right? I have new row turned off. So so new row is turned off, new column is turned off. Why didn't it stay in the same column? And that's because the column span of this is the whole width. If I change the column span of this to say two, and the column span of this to also two, they will now fit on the same row. So there we go, I save that, and I run this again. Let's see here, refresh it. Oh, uh, uh, let's see, I've actually got another little bug. Oh, so I need to make, oh, that's not column two. I, I did column instead of column span. Sorry about that. Uh, automatic column span. There we go. Let's see what I get now. I, I often inadvertently hit, ah, so there you can see this one is now on there, but it's not necessarily in a new column. It's butted right up next to the other column. So if I do this, it may or may not see, yes, you can see it, this one has come across into this other column, and then this one is smished in here. So it's not actually fully in a new column of its own. So that new column one is a little tricky in that way in that if you don't set the column span on the previous one, it's gonna take the whole thing and push it over. Um, right. I run into this all the time. So, oh, uh, good. So Angel, glad to hear that. Let's see, Reginald, if it's hidden and accessible and it applies to the title, we then need to put a little a title in that has a meaning to the user. Ah, that's uh, that's exactly right, Reginald. Reginald, that's exactly right. So that's that's actually this this one the the hidden the huh, blank with attributes. This can be anything because this just needs to be meaningful to the developer. This one because it's a standard needs to be meaningful to the user. Uh, Reginald, I'm, I'm glad you called that out because this, all these accessibility things, for those of us that are, that are fully sighted, um, we, we just skip over them and we don't think about them. And then, um, then it's a problem for, for a, a set of users that we, that, that we should be cognizant of. Um, I was recently doing a, a project and I had a, a not, not surprisingly, I had a few folks that were red, green, colorblind, and red, green, cl colorblind is very common. And yet, we've all decided that somehow red means stop and green means go. Right? And so <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty important to have an alternative for folks. If if all you're giving them is red and green, and they can't tell the difference, really bad. If somebody can't fully see your title, they need to have that adaptive technology uh, be able to work for them. So um, thanks for calling that out, Reginald. Um, whew, um, there we go. Oh, that default template checkbox. Oh, hell, that thing has bothered me forever. So I'm glad we, I'm glad we covered that. Um, well, let's see, what time is it? It's 12.24. This is a super long show, Marwa. Um, so, uh, oh, I wish you could more than one time. Oh. This is great. Oh, I'm, I love this. Well, um, uh, yeah, see if you can figure out how to give more than one thumbs up. Uh, if you like the show, like the show. Uh, see you next week. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>